Rudo, I can see what you're getting at, but don't you think you went a little too far back there? Too far? What do you mean? Well, Grok was. He's nothing to concern yourself over, Albus. More importantly, now that we've become puppy trade company, there are far bigger things to worry about beyond Grok Wiles. The problems are only about to start. Just as Rudo said, we have lost a great number of excellent employees. However, we also gained as many talented young employees. With the passage of each year, Rudo continues to rescue Zevitz from the brink of closure. The company full of warmth that Sid and Lean had once protected now changed into an efficient system. Zevitz grew to many times the size since Sid had first establishment, and even recovered to the point where it could trade flows with Hivas. Rudo's system of corporations and stocks planted the idea of investing even among the common layman, and created interest in business as a whole. Thanks to that, Hivas found it difficult to get by on just marketing alone. Since then, Hivas and Mark and Zevitz. Since then, Hivas and Zevitz had. Since then, Hivas and Zevitz had been competing primarily on the technological front. Sisters, subjects, medica, energy, pharmaceuticals, information technology. A new era of man dawned on the outer pole. The people on the inner pole could no longer look down upon us. I believe we were able to build up an equally respectful level of technology. What the heck does this have to do with anything? It was then. Just something, just... An uh, appointment? What do you mean I need an appointment? Well, that's... it's company policy. Ah, oh, come on, man, it's something such a hard ass. I just need talking for a couple minutes. Well, I'm... er... hurts. No, well, it's perfect time. Marl, you can forget about it and I'll deal with this. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Jeez, what the heck happened? Andy's kind of all by the book here now. The direction the company's changing all. The time's changing. Changing? Yeah! I hate it. Hate that, I tell you. Everyone's trying to be goody two shoes now. What's the point of following times over and over like that? Uh, it hurts when you never change, do you? But really, why didn't you just tell her your name? If you just said the name Grapwell, she would have easily passed you through to, to your uncle. Stop it, man. Just think about me and that guy actually related. It's depressing. Duly noted. Has your dad still not reconciled with- Ha ha ha! You mean with me or my uncle? Your uncle. Can't say. I suppose if one of them kicks the buggy, the other will probably show up at the funeral. My dad. He took Michael in and cared for him like he was his own son. What happened in their place? No, my business, but my uncles let the money get to his head a little too much. He got filled with ribs, but he didn't give us a cent to help raise the kid. Hurts. Well, that's all the past now. As long as he doesn't show his mug around me, that ain't gonna do anything. Yeah! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! It really has been a while. Just hearing that laugh of yours puts me at ease. That's because they don't like me, my last, my own cell phones. How do you hold those things, Albus? Look more and more like an old foggy, I see. You would too if you had to deal with this much work. You guys just stop playing business, man, and drop by a tavern once in a while. I'm sure Sid Ruler's got a lot of their place, but you need a breather once in a while, too. That is true. By the way, what brings you here today? Oh, yeah, that's right. See, Sid's not putting in orders for clothes all of a sudden. He's always had me work something at least once every half a year, but we haven't met for a whole year now. So I decided to just drop by and pay a visit. Well, what's that look of yours? Something happened? Yeah, it's Sid's not doing very well right now. He's been like that ever since Lean and Brune passed away. He's holed up in the land working who knows what like a man for Zed. Who knows what? So it's not work? He isn't even in the right condition to do any work now. Sid just refuses to listen to anyone, and when he talks, he either gives some nonsense order or says something outrageous. Rudo's taking the reins and is leading Zavitz now. Rudo is? That's amazing! That shot little kid's having over. You might not even recognize who he is if you met him, Hurst. Rudo's a clean change. Actually, ever since that incident with Rune, everything's changed. That's so. Hey, let me meet with Sid. Yeah. You should just leave him alone for now. Ah, oh, come on, it's fine. If he's busy with work, then I think twice, but if he's just twiddling his thumbs, then that's a different story. It's a lot more serious than that. Serious? Ah, oh, that's just what you think. Serious, that's just what you think, but you haven't seen what Sid's like now. Now you think for a Sid, you won't let me. Good point. 
That is, that's strange and logical of you. Look here, Albus. In my whole entire life, since the toughest son of a bitch I've ever met, he's always stuck to his guns no matter what life threw at him. Here you're telling me he's broke down? That just means he's a little too numb, is all. I'll slap some sense into him. Alright, but you better not regret this. Is that you, Albus? Why do people have the man to and throw up the doors locker, you know what I mean? Told you not to come here, didn't I? Hey, Albus. Hey, answer me. Hey, good old Hurstman's here, too. Sorry, say I just had to talk, Albus, and let me drop in. Hurstman, what do you want? What I want? What don't I want, Tim? You've been my regular for 15 years now. If you still don't just stop showing up, then of course I'm going to worry. But it's why I'm here paying you a visit. That's so. Now this hurts me. Anything. Get out. I'm busy. Hey now, what's with the grading? I'm telling you to get the hell out of here. Don't got time to waste on either of you. <coughs> Ugh. Sid! Don't touch him, Albert! Well, we need to get him to the doctor. Sid, just how long have you been hacking your lungs up? <laughs> that, that, that ain't none of your damn business. I'm getting a doctor now. Don't you, uh... Don't you even dare call Dr. Albus! What? Why? He's bleeding profusely here. If we just leave him like that, then... Don't make me repeat myself. You call a doctor, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. Why? Speak up, Sid. When did these symptoms start showing? Wait, is Hertzman? Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn it, answer me. How smart are you? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Darn onomatopoeias. Ugh, I can't even watch this. Alright, Sid, you can't even speak straight. Look me straight in the eyes and nod or shake your head. You're damn sure you don't need a doctor. <sighs> no. No, piss off. All right. That's how you want it, Sid. Abbas, we're taking off. Yeah, but Just shut up again over here. Come on, we're leaving. <laughs> Why didn't we call Dr. Hertz? How could you stay calm after seeing Sid like that? Ah, well, calm down for- How could I possibly calm down? He looked like he was on the verge of dying. If we leave him be, then... You don't get it, do you, Albus? Mm. Yeah, what is there to get? You've been with him for too long. You can't see the big picture anymore. Relax. Once you calm down, you'll figure it out. What are you talking about? At this rate, he'll- Look, if you really care about Cindy, you just need to leave him be. Let him do what he wants. Uh, Albus, what I'm going to say is Warren, so listen up. The best thing you can do for Sid, right now, is to let the man die doing what his heart desires. I couldn't do that sentence in his voice. Too much emphasis. Well, it's in my piece. But it's not listening now, it's all on you. Stub son of a bitch. Blue Doctor is season now. See you around, Sid. I like this music too. This this game's an awesome, awesome soundtrack. Entry number nine. <clears throat> just, a little, just a little longer. I'm almost. Oh, shit. So a week later, I simply could not let Sid, let Sid be and decide to head back into Lab 9. It was then. Elvis. Sir Elvis, we have an emergency. Both on Israel, what's wrong? You look again. Sid, Sig, I think Labs 9 emergency protocol. He what? All the backup man lines have been cut. That's absurd. The emergency protocol fills the entire lab with colored mana. If the living human being was in there, he. Do you think Sid's trying to commit suicide? Although, get rid of here now. Kiki, come with me. We'll need to find a way to stop the protocol. Yes, sir. Ugh. Of all interruptions. So, how much time has passed since the activation? Rudo. I hear the backup man lines have all been severed. Is there any valuable equipment inside? 
Who cares? Sid is... Sid's still in there. Yes. So, yes. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's get the doctor on standby just in case. I swear, I'm already pressed for time as it is. I don't have time to deal with the funeral arrangements. That's cold, bro. Super cold. How dare you! You look so exasperated, Elvis. Sid Savitz died a long, long time ago. All that's left in there is a deranged hell shell that's remained of him. Enough, Rudo. If you die doing whatever it is you want doing, that good for him. Shut up! How dare you speak like that about your father? That's how you address the person who gave you life. So Rudo, how was the doors opening? It seems that the cleansing's finished. I found Sin's body inside the lab. He died from an acute mass shock due to sun and influx of colored mana, just, in, just as Rudo had. Sid, whoa, what are you trying to accomplish here? In the entire company, Lab 9 is packed with the most expensive equipment. Among the equipment there, there were some sensitive instruments that constantly had to have mana flowing through them. Otherwise, they would break down. Kirky, let me ahead. We need to restore the lines. We can't see a thing in this darkness. Understood. Yada yada yada. It was when Kirky and Volto reconnected the back of man lines which Sid had disconnected that we discovered... What? Time froze. What lay beside Sid's corpse was... Yeah, I saw that coming. I, I don't believe it. What was this? Chapter 6. Bosh. Is that a new sister prototype? No, 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 that's impossible. She's gotta be human, right? Clearly. No, there's no mistake in it. There's, there doesn't seem to be a pulse and I can see the irises of the camera in its eyes. Huh? It moved. Alright, who activated it? Didn't even touch it, we just started moving on its own. Can, can you talk? Do you have a voice feature? Huh? Hello, world! Wait, what is it? Uh, hello, world! There it is. It seems to be the type that can speak. Do you have a name? Name? Uh, what's a name? I like the Hello World reference, because that's it's, it's a programming thing. Okay. This looks like there wasn't any basic information loaded in. Name is a term that serves as an identifier for oneself. My name is Volta, this guy's Kirky. He's Elvis, and over there is Rudo. Rudo? R Rudo? Oh, it seems to recognize Rudo's face. Rudo? Brother? Uh, that's creepy. Must be... Must be some kind of mistake. You. You don't have any name, right? Name. Something that serves as my identifier. I can't remember. But I remember being called by something a long time ago. Then from now on, you're Sarah. Remember that. Uh, the project's file title, how arbitrary. Sarah? Indeed. If you're asked by anyone that you are to introduce yourself as Sarah. That's an order. Uh, I understood. This is going to be deployed at the church? The church. Ah, something that happened before you joined the company. Before when both Sinda and his wife were still alive, there was an agreement that we would create sisters who looked just like humans for the Abbey. They would take care of the victims of the Hivet's operations. Possibly we weren't able to create any sisters to the standards of quality that they demanded. They said that even though they looked human externally, they're lacking on the inside. Ugh, damn, damn. Where were you, what were you even thinking? He's thinking he's going to do a good deed? He was later discovered that Sid had falsified financial records without the accountants knowing. They're really shitty accountants now. He had, laundered, he had laundered vast sums of money to develop a new prototype sister. Did Sid not leave even a single memo on this? All the, all the documents of the man aware and software and terminals and equipment involved in the purge because of the emergency protocol. And his planner. Sid always got her planner around with him, making sure to take notes and everything. About that. It's been burned to a crust. Burned? That's not all. Every single document that Sid's kept here for the last two, three years were all burned. Seeing how all of his notes and documents have been destroyed so exactly, he must have intentionally gotten rid of it all. Then why would Sir Sid have kept working to create this sister prototype up to his death? I already told you about this. He was frustrated with the greatest failure in Zavitz Enterprise history. When we partnered with Church, he promised the abbot that we would make sisters that would be no different than a human being. Ultimately, we just couldn't deliver on that. I'm sure he wanted to put the final nail on the coffin and have before he died. 
Sid must have wanted to finish his great failure. The greatest failure of life, the sister's properties. No, that could be. Why did you say that? He wanted to create sisters for the church to use, and when he truly met his goal, they could be produced en masse. But he intentionally burned all his notes and documentation to prevent that. I told you, he wasn't thinking about mass production, or even the company itself. He must have wanted to settle his personal conflicts with himself. Otherwise, why would he have felt the need to steal funding from his own company? But still, what does it mean destroying all his documents? There must have been some other driving force behind us. Gentlemen, you are sorely mistaken about the problem at hand. However, my father was thinking there's no way for us to only even to ever understand this. To question the motives of a madman, mere act is an utter waste of time. I. Elvis, we don't have time to waste on foolish things like this. The amount of money that Sid has illegally channeled into this project of his is enormous. I'm sure there will be a meeting with the board of directors about whether or not this new sister prototype justified its cost. I must go make preparations for that. Please return to your respective workstations, everyone. Yes, you're right. It's rather hard to swallow all this right now, but I understand. I need to recompose my thoughts once a date of the meeting is set. Please let me know. Rudo, we need to talk. Hope this isn't more useless banter, Albus. Enough, Rudo. Really. Look at that model sister. Doesn't anyone come to mind? Look. It's clearly Rune right there. Right. And you thought I didn't notice it either? Now, why didn't you say anything about that? Because it's a matter of trivial importance. So what if she looks like Rune? A minor detail has no bearing on our current situation. Well, there's something I'm starting with, which is, Sid Seffitz was truly ill. While still bitter about the loss of his daughter, he was infatuated pretending that he could bring her back to life. How disgraceful. Sid Seffitz, the renowned scientist of the era, certainly has fallen far. Well, now, it goes without saying that this, that the issue is at hand, this is the numbers, our finances. I believe it is best we not discuss this with anyone else. I don't want to cause any additional causes for concern for the board of directors. On that, and only that point, do I agree with you. I sincerely hope that this thing thinks enough warrants, enough value to warrant its construction. Albus, please start preparing for the meeting as well. I'm against this. Look at it. Just look at Sarah's mannerisms. Tell me, have you ever come to a machine that could possibly respond as naturally as human humanely? Regardless of Sid's psychological instability, this sister is still the work of a genius. The work which he put his entire life into. Until we can understand the origins behind its construction, I believe that we need to continue observing us. If they're almost disgusting the way it looks so realistic, we'll have a lot. As if it really were a human. And why? I wasn't expecting on face. It's some kind of function about to upset people on purpose. No, I apologize. It's as if it has emotions as well. This has to have been a sister for the church's use, for to have emotions recreated as well, it has to, it has to be a model of sister created for its original purpose, no doubt about it. <laughs> Impossible, we need to scrap this or get rid of it as soon as possible. Despite that small frame, it possesses the strength of ten men. If it decides to rebel against us, who knows what could happen. Refusing to listen to other people's been opinions as always, I see. I was screaming, no, no. And you still call yourself an adult? I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. Yeah, I believe the same goes for you, regardless of how you choose to be honest. To be honest, it scares me. I cannot in good faith agree with Lane Machine, whose thought process we don't either say a loose word to us. I don't think those fears are really justified. Sarah can speak perfectly well and is able to understand what we are saying. We have to approach it to understand that's not something dangerous. Besides, Sid couldn't have built something that tended to be harmful to others. Considering, considering Sid's mental state at the time, I find that searching rather hard to believe. All this aside, everyone, please! Have you all forgotten about the money that was poured into making Sarah in the first place? Or was it just created to serve as some kind of trophy? Be plunged into a goldfish bowl of some sort? That was created as a mere pet project and I refuse to stand for this. We need to do something right now to mitigate our losses. But if we don't have any time to observe her, then it looks like we're. It looks like we're need to. It looks like we're need to 
take a vote on this matter. We will need to take a vote on this matter. A majority vote is decided to observe Sarah. In a few weeks since then, slowly, Sarah slowly formed memories and personality began to emerge. At first she spoke very carefully and did only what she was told. As time went on, she slowly became more and more human-like to the point where other people wouldn't even notice that she was machine. Although there are many skeptics among the board of directors, they all eventually accept the fact that Sarah was something special. Soon after, she was placed in a field test to work in the Man of Mines temporarily under my supervision. Wow, there's so many first generation models, models of the sisters here, Elvis. About 90% of those working in the mines are sisters that we built, in fact. Good morning, everyone! Please make your acquaintances! All the sisters here don't speak. They're all purpose-built miners, so they don't have any access functions. I see. It's gonna be a little lonely. Do you really think that? Excuse me? Does that really make you feel lonely? Uh, well, I wonder why I think it'll be lonely. I'm not sure if it feels the right word either. But the first thing that came to mind was that it would be lonely. Sarah worked diligently at its job. However, one compared to the sisters assigned specifically for working in mines, its results were nothing spectacular. Ultimately, it was determined that Sarah was not designed for mining work, and that at the very least we had determined that Sarah had no particular abilities apart from a very incredible likeness to humans. It seems that its memories are constantly growing day by day. I have absolutely no idea just how it's built. Then, we sh then shall we dismantle it to find out? If you wish to know what makes it tick, then that's the fastest way to do it. I can't do that. If we dismantle it, then we'd be unable to reassemble it. That's the consensus of all the members of Lab 9's members. Hang on a second. That's the consensus of all the members of Lab 9's members. Okay, I read that right. The board directors win ever last this man given our current level of technology. Uh, excuse me. Uh, what is it? I... I don't think the name is Sarah. What? I don't quite remember very well, but I think a long time ago, a long time ago, Rune used to be my name. Do you mean, and you are rude on my brother? Stop. Sarah, between your imperfect faulty memory, or what we say, which do you think is more credible? Everything in those so-called memories of yours, it's all fail, a lie, a sham. All of that was implanted by your creator, Sid Zavitz, as some kind of sick joke. Don't ever, ever utter the name Rune again. That's an order. Uh, understood. 